Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today we are going to design a multi-page Power BI company performance dashboard. And for our today's dashboard we are going to use this data set. And as you can see this data set is already in pivoted form. And when a data is in report form it is not suitable for dashboarding or further analysis. Data in raw form or unpivoted data is more suitable for dashboards and further analysis therefore before using this data uh, for our dashboard we will transform this data first so let's go to our power bi uh, report and from get data let's select csv since we are going to import a csv data set then let's click on the open button and let's click on the transform data and now we are in the power query window and in Power Query window, we can unpivot this data and use it in our dashboard. So, all of the uh, fields contain uh, numbers, which makes it e uh, easy to unpivot this information into a single column. So, we will select all the columns and go to the Transform tab and click on the Unpivot columns. And now we have three columns instead of so many columns and now we have the year column attribute column and the value column and we unpivoted all the columns into a single column because all of these columns contained numbers so it is recommended to uh, use a single column for same kind of data type otherwise uh, you may have problems while analyzing your data performing calculations and preparing your visuals so once we are done with the transformation we can go to the home and click on the close and apply button and now we have the table in our data path and now we can proceed with our dashboard so let's start by inserting a shape like this so this will be our sidebar and then let's add a picture and this contains the logo of our company and let's play, place it nicely here we can also add a text box and add the name of our company and we can place this text box right here and we can go to the effects and we can uh, increase the transparency all the way to 100% that's it so there will be three pages in our dashboard so let's add two more pages and we will use a navigator to navigate between these pages therefore let's go to the navigator and add page navigator and from the grid layout let's change the orientation to vertical and place it here like this and now we will rename our pages to home sales and marketing and then we will copy all of this area and paste on all pages so now we can click on these buttons to navigate between the pages we have to press the control key and click on the buttons and as you can see we are now nav navigating between the pages to make these buttons more attractive we can use uh, some unicode symbols for example let's go to the internet and search for the home unicode symbol and this is the symbol that we are looking for let's copy it and let's paste it here and now we have a symbol on our 
uh, home page and the same symbol is on our home button as well in the same way we can uh, look for a chart and let's look for a line chart so this is a line chart let's copy this chart and paste it here and then uh, let's look for a check mark and there are many check marks uh, let's use one of these let's copy this and paste it here so now we have kind of icons uh, with the uh, names of these pages so now these look much attractive and now we can go ahead and design our dashboard so first of all let's add a card and in the card we will add the value and then in the filters we will add the attribute and here we will select revenue and then we will add the year field in the filters as well and we will select the year 2025 so these are the sales of 2025 so let's rename this to revenue and let's go to the effects and turn on the visual borders and place the card right here then let's make a copy of this card and paste it here and select expenditures from the attributes and now we have expenditures of 2025 let's change this to expenditures as well then let's copy this again and paste it here and now let's select profit and now we have profit of 2025 and finally let's copy this again paste it here and let's select customers now we have total customers of 2025 as well so now we have four cards displaying revenue expenditures profit and customers for 2025 on our home page now let's display revenue and expenditure for uh, last five years in a chart let's copy this and change it into a, a column chart and resize it like this and then add the year field to the x-axis and select expenditures as well and from the year field either select all of them or remove this year filter altogether uh, so now we have all the years and uh, revenue and expenditure should be displayed separately so for that we can uh, bring the attribute field to the legend and now we have revenue and expenditure for 2020 to 2024 in our column chart we can also uh, rename this to revenue and expenditures and now we can copy this chart and paste it here and we can change it to a line chart and from 
the attributes we can select profit so now this chart will show profit for all years and we can change this to profit as well so our home page is now complete and now let's copy this chart and paste it on the sales page and let's go to the attributes and select the product A and this will show the sales of product A then copy this and paste it here and change this to product B and from attributes we will select product B as well so now we have sales of both product A and product B we have cash and credit sales as well so let's show them here as well so this will be our cash sales and from attributes we can select cash and then we can select credit so now we will go back to the home page and copy this chart and paste it here and now uh, we will select cash and credit and uncheck revenue and expenditure and now we have cash and credit sales let's place this chart here then copy this again and now we will select product A and product B from attributes and now we have sales of product A and B and with this the sales page is also complete now let's copy this visual and paste it here and change it into a funnel and then let's add attribute to the category and from the attribute let's select leads qualified proposals and close one so now this will show us how many uh, leads we got and how many of them got closed and then let's copy this and paste it here and change it into a donut chart and let's first change this to conversion social media referral and direct so these are the sources and finally let's copy this chart and paste it here like this and let's call it conversion as well and select conversion from here and now our report is complete and all pages are now working so this is the dashboard that we created from this data set which was already in pivoted report form which we unpivoted first and then we used filters to create these visuals and we used navigators to create these buttons to navigate between pages and with this we end our today's tutorial and see you in another tutorial in future 
till then have a nice day and good luck with your dashboarding